sure the coding manuals are typically the same. So the inside, the beginning has the history, then the coding guidelines are right behind that. Next, it explains how to do the index and the tabular. I encourage you guys all to look through the introduction pages and read those. Then the official coding guidelines are right here. So you can see the conventions, the medical and surgical guidelines. Then there will be the obstetrical guidelines, radiation therapy, new technology. So again, read those. You'll reread those as you get to that specific section as you're coding in class, but know the guidelines are always there. Right behind the guidelines is the alphabetical index. Just like the other coding systems, you look up your procedure in your alphabetical index, and then in PCS, you build the rest of your procedure using a table. So my advice is to always look up your root operation in your index, and then from there you derive at the correct table. So the root operations are in the back of your book in Appendix B. I recommend you make flashcards for these root operation definitions. The root operation definition might be different than the definition you're used to. So for example, the definition excision is cutting out or off without replacement a portion of a body part. Now that is different. A surgeon might say that he or she removed, uh, let's say they removed the appendix. Well, excision is cutting out part of it. And then the, the root operation resection is cutting out all the body part. The root operation removal, if we look at that, removal is taking out or off a device from a body part. So as a coder in PCS, you really have to understand these root operations. And again, that is how you determine the code table you build your seven character PCS code from. PCS codes are always seven characters. There's not any decimal point. There's not any punctuation at all. Seven characters. And the uh, capital O or I are not used because those get confused with characters zero and one. So that's another important thing to remember. So let's just practice using the PCS book. The first procedure we're gonna look up is an open appendectomy. So an appendectomy is removal of the appendix. Well, we know we're not gonna use the root operation removal because that's taking out a device. We are going to use the root operation resection because that's taking out a complete body part. So we're gonna open up our tabular index, alphabetical index, sorry, to resection. And then we're gonna find our body part, which is appendix. So we are given characters zero, D, T, J. The first three characters are always your table. So now we're gonna to flip to table zero, D, T. These are in order as well. So zero is the first section, one would be next, two would be next. So zero is the medical and surgical section. It's the biggest section in PCS, so 0DJ is the table, 0DT, sorry, 0DT, and then J. So 0DT, zero, zero that tells us that we're in the medical section in the gastrointestinal system. We are coding a resection, and our body part is the appendix. The nice thing about our table is it gives us the definition, again, right here of our root operation if you're unsure. So resection, it tells you again, cutting out or off without replacement all of a body part. So you wanna make sure that this definition matches the procedure you're coding. So once we do resection appendix, you have to stay in the same row. You can't go down or up. You have to stay in the row where your body part is. So appendix, and we said it was open, so our fifth character is zero for open, and then we would have a Z and a Z for no device, no qualifier. 
So our code for an open appendectomy is 0DT J 0ZZ. Again, you always need seven characters, no decimal point or punctuation. Okay, let's practice another one. So now let's do a diagnostic colonoscopy. So a colonoscopy, again, you're learning these root operations. There's 31 in the medical and surgical section, so please make some flashcards. But colonoscopy, if it's diagnostic, is the root operation inspection. So let's open up our alphabetical index to inspection. Inspection, and then you go to the body part. What, what did they inspect or where did they inspect? If they inspected the colon, if we looked, colon is not listed under the C's. There's no colon. So now we're going to go to gastrointestinal because it's actually part of the gastrointestinal tract. Intestinal tract, lower, upper. So the colon is part of the lower. So we would pick 0DJD. So now we're going to go to 0DJD, that table. zero D J D and a colonoscopy is done through a scope that they insert through the rectum. So our approach is via natural or artificial opening endoscopic. So that's going to be an eight, no device, no qualifier. So our code is zero D J D eight Z Z. Okay. Let's do one more, and on this one, I want you to pause and try to find the code yourself, and then we're going to go over the correct answer. So this one, our patient had a biopsy of his left cornea. So please pause the video, see if you can find this procedure by yourself. You first want to figure out what the root operation for biopsy would be, and then you will look up that root operation in the index. Again, you can use the root operation Appendix B in the back of the book to try to find the definition that matches what a biopsy is, right? Taking a sample of tissue or part of a tissue. So hopefully you guys have unpaused and determined your root operation for biopsy is excision. So we're gonna go to excision and then again, once you get to your root operation, you go to where or to what. So an excision of the cornea, and we said it was left. So here we have 08B9XZ. You can see that's only six characters. It's not all seven. We still have to go to the table. The table, again, is always the first three characters. So we're going to table 08B. Okay, 08B, and then our fourth character was a 9 for the cornea left. Then we have external, no device, and it didn't say if it was diagnostic or not, so we're going to pick no qualifier. So our code is 08B9XZZ. Okay, so remember to make flashcards for the root operations in the back, Appendix B. You can also make flashcards for the surgical approaches, if you would like, which is the fifth character in our PCS code. Here's all the definitions, and there's examples with pictures if you need as well. But definitely make root operation flashcards for the 31 in the medical and surgical section to start with. You can see that they stop right here. So there's like three pages, two and a half pages. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful on how to use your PCS coding book.